Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. This is Zach with Zach Attack Cards, bringing you another exciting opening. And this time we're stepping out onto the Monopoly board. As promised in the previous video, where we kind of went over the rules of the game and essentially did a little bit of an introduction to it, as well as checked out what was in the Monopoly, Prism Monopoly 2nd Edition uh, I guess you want to call it board game. Not really sure what they call it on the website, but uh, exclusively at Target for now, by the way. I think I did forget to mention that in that video. Um, it, it eventually comes to other stores, you know, months down the road like it did last year. But um, as I promised in that video, a couple of blasters to open. And last I checked, they're still available on the website, guys. So this, if this is something that you you know, want to try to collect some of, go for it. They are $30 each, and you get 24 cards. So, you know, a little over a dollar a piece, which is relatively normal for a Prism set. But let's see what the blasters say. Why don't we go ahead and chop them open first? And we can do a little bit of a review of like what to look for or what they advertise. As my, there's quite a few uh, <laughs> things to look for in terms of, you know, even the things that they show you on the side of the box. So, I'll pierce right through the box on that one. It's unfortunate. All right. Sorry, that took a second there. Anyways, so. We have the Prism, Monopoly Prism 2324. As I said, second edition, but I guess they don't really say that on these. Uh, it also, you know, it doesn't make a ton of sense to, to even get the board game if you already have the one from last year. I mean, sure, there's some updated cards in there, but other than that, I mean, the, the cards are easily transferable between the games. Uh, look for Monopoly Prism Parallels and Ultra Rare Money Blast and Millionaire Black Inserts. Now, the Money Blasts are just the color blasts, but obviously they use Monopoly Money. Not too sure what the Millionaire Black Inserts look like. Basically the same thing there. Collect and use. And then here's everything you can look for. So Millionaire Black Money Blast. There you go, down at the bottom. So the hardest stuff to kind of get. And non-base cards are included approximately one in one out of three in every pack. I'm confused out of that, but anyway, we'll, uh, <laughs> again, my, my school days are long, but long over here at this point. So <laughs> maybe I'm forgetting how to read different kind of fractions and maybe just reading in general, but let's go ahead and get these open. That's what you're all here for, right? You want to see what's in these boxes. Are they truly worth $30? And how easy is it to pull Victor Wembanyama? As I said, still pretty surprised that they're not flying off the shelves quicker than they are. I would think with everybody kind of on the hunt for Wemby, they would be, you know, harder to find, but... Like I said, still available on the website last I checked. So that's what the pack looks like. And let's go ahead and get right into it. I mean, the odds are going to be everything we already saw, I think. So no, well, not really odds anyway. It's just what you can find in the packs. So that pack was destroyed. Kicking it off with Paul George, who we did pull from the... Game board box, again, or whatever you call it. Scoot Henderson for the Trailblazers, rookie. We got Jimmy Butler and Evan Mobley. A couple of vets there. On to pack two, Carl Anthony Towns. We got Spencer Dinwiddie. And Jalen Brunson. Followed by... A Joel Embiid, very cool. Kind of looks like the emergent insert from the standard set, but definitely one of the better players. Look at those stats. You know, skills are the only thing outside the 90s. But no rookie in that pack. 
so not a rookie in every pack either. So definitely going to be difficult to find Wembenyama. <laughs> Jordan Poole on the Wizards. Got Amen Thompson on the Rockets. And we do have a purple in the back here. Pascal Siakam. And it is the Lakers. It's Anthony Davis on the purple speckle. And that is gorgeous. Non-numbered from the looks of it. I don't see it anywhere. But that looks awesome with the purple being the, you know, kind of the secondary color of the Lakers. That is sweet. But non-numbered. These packs are very easy to shred through. <laughs> Russell Westbrook. We got Anthony Simmons. And Desmond Bain on the Grizzlies, followed by Donovan Mitchell on the Cavs. So two rookies in what, four packs at this point. Anthony Edwards on the T-Wolves. Mikhail Bridges. I mean, so far, the centering's been halfway decent. Jason Tatum, there we go, on the, again, whatever like that emergent type card is. And Clay Thompson, the guy I got a numbered card of last year's edition. But that's nice. Jason Tatum. Ooh, all 90s, so definitely better than Joel Embiid. And last pack, first blaster. Since they're basically prison blasters, I mean, they're going to take no time at all to rip open. And man, these are... Such a pain to open. A rookie right on top. There we go. Keontae George. We got Jabari Smith Jr. And Victor Wembanyama. There he is. All right. He shows up. There's the base Monopoly. And we get another purple. Another nice little color match with Sabonis. DeMontis Sabonis of the Kings. Once again, non-numbered, but very nice. But we get Wemby. Look at that. And, I mean, the centering's not bad. A little bit, a little off left to right. Up and down looks pretty good, though. So, not bad. Hey, it'll probably be the only one I get, because, again, I don't collect basketball cards. You know, I don't tend to make exceptions, with the exception of a, a game like this that I actually enjoy playing. What is happening, man? All right, so Taylor Hendricks on the rookie. Ooh, double rookie pack. Cam Whitmore and Devin Vassell. Vassell, maybe? We got another emergent. This time it's a refractor. Is that... Were the others not refractors? And it is Steph Curry. Let me just check that real quick. No, oh, so that's a refractor. That's cool. Does it like say it anywhere? Oh, Prism, right. Oh, that's right. Always got to remember the fact that Prism doesn't call them refractors and blah, blah, blah. But so far, so far, not bad at all. Another rookie, Jairus Walker. Again, apologies if that is not how you say it. <laughs> Devin Booker. Jaron Jackson Jr. And Zach Levine. Four packs to go, including this one. And we'll get you out of here very quickly. Ooh, kicking off with one of the... I'm just going to keep calling them like the emergent type inserts. But uh, Nikola Jokic, very nice. That's got to, he has to be one of the best players. 97, 90, 90. Wow, that's, that's a good one for sure. Uh, I really should get a bigger sorter for this. Jaden Ivey and Kyle Kuzma, followed by a purple of LeBron James. There you go. That's a good one there to get again. Another Laker on the purple. Very nice. 
So they've all basically been somewhat of a color match thus far. Well, let's see if we can pull one of those big color blasts or whatever, money blasts, whatever they're called. Uh, Osser Thompson? That's probably not right. So once again, apologies. Uh, Lori Markinen for the Jazz. Jonathan Kuminga for the Warriors. And Keldon Johnson for the Spurs. Two packs to go. Can we get a second Wemby? That pack actually opened up well. Shocking. So, Benedict Mathurin? Possibly. Bradley Beal. And Austin Reeves, followed by Donovan Mitchell. There we go. Very nice. Not bad. I mean, lowest skills in 89, which I think is roughly the same as Embiid, right? So, last pack. Let's see if we can get a little last pack magic. A little bit of LPM. Wish me a little bit of luck on the last pack. Can we get something sweet just to finish her off. Cade Cunningham. We have at least another purple speckle. Julius Randle. And DeMar DeRozan, so I don't know, vet pack, I guess. And yep, De'Aaron Fox. But again, a Sacramento King, so another purple color match. Wow, that's not bad. Those must be relatively easy to pull. Are they up towards the top, maybe? Base prism, and is it maybe a purple prism? It's always so hard to tell. There's so many, so many, you know, colors and, and just yada yada. But not bad. We did get ourselves a Wemby. So, I mean, what more can you ask for? You know, not to mention you get one with the with the board game set or whatever you want to call it. So, not bad at all. Not bad at all. You know, nothing, nothing too out of the ordinary. You know, nothing numbered or anything like that. But again, did get a few of the uh, of the purple. So that's kind of nice. But. Yeah, I mean, it's rough. It's definitely rough at 30 bucks. I mean, at least that is the same price that it was last year. If you can get it at that price, uh, you know, from Target, I wouldn't pay anything above that. Uh, you know, if this starts to take off and, you know, Wemby continues to have a strong year, it, it very well could. Uh, so yeah, get in now if it's something you're interested in. And like I said last time, any questions about the game, hit me up in the comments down below. I'll be happy to, to answer them to the best of my ability. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun. It's something I enjoy playing. Uh, but with that said, I'm going to go ahead and get you guys on out of here. Once again, a nice quick one. Uh, if you could head down below, hit the little subscribe button, click the like while you're there. We put out videos every Monday and Friday and I mean, that's really it. The last thing I want to say, as always, thank you guys so much. Thanks for any and all support, any and all time that you spend with me, anything that you, you know, comment and stuff like that. I love taking the time to, to comment back. And uh, it's just a blast to be a part of such an incredible community. So thank you so much for, for making it so welcoming. Uh, but with that said, I'm going to go ahead and get you guys on out of here on that note, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.